Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and I do a bunch of videos here on YouTube. Today's video, we are going to close out our budget for July. I was dedicated to tracking everything, what went in, what came out. So we're gonna to try to keep it real simple of how I think to do it in my head. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my income and I'm gonna subtract bills, cash envelopes, sinking funds, tied, emergency fund, unbudgeted, and extra debt. Because basically that's where all my money go. Every time we get paid weekly, I said my money. Did I say my money or our money? Nevertheless, our money go. So that's how I'm just gonna keep it basic math over here. So if you guys, have any constructive criticism on how to do it better please drop it in the comments i would greatly appreciate it because like i said this is a long time coming i can't remember the last time i closed out my budget but i will pop it on the screen nevertheless let's get to it because i'm talking too much all right so i'm just going to add up all the income So this is how much income we brought in. Now I didn't add this because it was debt snowball that I was putting back in the bank. I didn't add this because I transferred this from the emergency fund because I like my husband's key thing in a car. <laughs> I didn't add this as income because this was cash envelopes put back in the bank. Um, I didn't add this as income because I transferred it from the emergency from no the taxing this I didn't use this as income because basically I just put it back in a bank to cover these two transactions so that's why I didn't get those so income I'm gonna Income, $6,268.91. All right. Now, we're going to add up all the bills. So, usually, you guys know that I like to put our bills on our credit card. So, this should be easy. So, the only thing that comes out the checking account is Samsung, which is $12.98. Uh, my car note, $373.48. And... I put everything on the um, credit card. But as you can see, I put some numbers right here. So $28.35 of this amount is unbudgeted. So our bills came up to plus $1,559.03. So this is what our bills came up to. All right, let's go to cash envelopes. <clears throat> cash envelopes is plus, I ain't gonna add that cause we took care of that. Got this debt in that color, but, <clears throat> excuse me y'all, 540. Plus, I just did, I don't know why I did that. All right, so it's telling me that cash envelopes came up to $1,087, but I think that's, oh yeah, here we go. I'm going to add this because as you can see here, I have cash envelopes 340. When I first started tracking it, I just, this is what I pulled out the bank that day, but I had to come home and break it down. So out of that 340, cash envelopes is 245 so plus $245 so cash envelopes actually came up to let's go ahead and do sinking funds sinking funds came up to Alright, let's do the tie then. So tied 70.
So we gave $710 in tithe. All right, so let's do emergency fund. It said we did $4.99, but I know I did $500 on a dot. I did, I remember transferring a dollar. It was a, it was a, um, it was a random dollar because I wanted to put it that 500 so I'm going to put a dollar. I don't know why I didn't write that down, but I will get a screenshot to show you guys why I transferred that dollar. So 500 for emergency funds. So let's do unbudgeted. All right. I'm not gonna add this 871 because this this deposit took care of those two. Plus three dollars and fifty cents. Plus six cents. Yes, I'm adding that six cents <laughs> for unbudgeted. Right, so of course we did extra debt. That should be two hundred fifty dollars. I hope it'll add up right over here. Totally wrong. But I know for a fact I put 250. I don't know why this I got it like this, but I will put a screenshot of me transferring $250 to Jeep. I don't know what I was doing here. That's why I said I'm gonna to have to do better in the month of August. So I do know debt received $250. All right, <clears throat> so right now, I hope you guys can see that right now. Uh, don't pay attention to our list because this was for Quicksilver, but since this is my checking account, I ran out of lines, so I just brought it over here. Over here because we have $4.40 in the bank right now. So that's what, this right here should be so like I said I'm just gonna try to do basic math so it looks like we are at a negative 1607 look I take that <laughs> like look like I said if you guys have any 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 kind of tips on how to close a budget please let me know I have looked at the budget mom videos I don't know how many times to figure out I low-key feel like I don't get how she did it but that's why I said let me just do basic math over here so over $16.07 in the budget but this is what we have in the bank, $4.40. I don't know what that's telling me. <laughs> All I know is I'm glad this is not $100 and up. I would take this $16.07. But hey, that's me closing out our July budget. For August, I do want to do something super different because as you see, I had unexpected expenses on this credit card. I had unexpected expenses on this credit card um, <clears throat> and everything that came out of our checking account. So I do want to do something different. I figure out what I'm going to do in August. Of course, you guys will know. Um, but yeah, this is our budget. <clears throat> so I guess what I'm going to do, that's my debt. I'm going to put this right here. I'm just going to take this bad boy right here cuz uh yeah I don't well I can put this in um so yeah let me let me do this now and see what's up um do I have my red pen in here okay do I have my green yeah so if it's over red is it right on green blue i guess under okay 
So, bills. I projected $1,968. So, it looked like we spent, let me do this in black. We spent $1,945.49. So, Nineteen sixty-eight subtract nineteen forty-five forty-nine. So it looks like we were under by twenty-two dollars and fifty-one cents. All right. Tied. I have we have seven hundred and ten dollars. So. 636 subtract 710. Ooh, what you do? 636 subtract 710 dollars. So I hope I'm doing this right. 74 dollars. So we gave an extra 74 dollars. That ain't bad. I ain't tripping about that. Um cash envelopes. This is $1,295, but the cash envelope, oh Lord, it was more. So I guess I can do this, y'all. I don't know what I was doing. So we spent $1,332. All right, so 1295 subtract 1332. All right, so we went over I guess thirty-seven dollars. I hope I did that right, and I hope y'all see what I'm doing, child. Cause like I see it. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I know uh, sinking funds gonna be a little weird because I didn't add the child tax credit in this uh, monthly budget. When I was doing the budget, I didn't add it. So let's just see sinking. It would have been 605, but sinking funds was actually this. So 605, 1330. So 725. So 330 for sinking funds. Just do that. $725. That makes sense because. When we got that extra $600 for child tax credit, I applied it to the kids. So, that looks a little right. Well, that makes a little sense. Uh, debt, I did put $250 towards it because that was the goal. I made that happen. So, that was right on point. Emergency fund, I did put $500. Savings challenges, I didn't do nothing. Unbudgeted was two seventeen forty nine. I don't know what I just did here, but I did it. But I'm just gonna take this right here because this this makes sense. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here because yeah, I'm just gonna end it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, please leave your uh, comments and suggestions in the comments. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate every last one of you guys. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.